Architectural Digest is a place I go sometimes to see if these actors I've been watching my whole life and RuPaul actually have good taste. Or even to get inspiration for myself. But not really the second one because, well, I don't have a home. Well, no, I, 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 li I'm, I live with my parents. Yeah, but the chances I'll see something tasteful, you know, something where I'd go, Oh, that's nice. Is on a micro mini quantum level but really overall we just come here to judge so let's judge right first up we have rupaul <laughs> <laughs> hello ad i'm rupaul and welcome to our crib now this is our disco room we love music we love to dance see this room here this is what happens when you can afford it the designer was like so we have a beautiful range of colors to pick from pastels are very in at the moment. They encourage positivity and really brighten the room. Black and white. What, sorry? Black and white. <laughs> yeah. and then again, I say this is a thing you can do with wealth, but at the same time, it just looks like every home in Essex. This table here can be moved at any time. It's on wheels, so. Ooh. <laughs> This is a stove that is made by a French company called La Cagneux. How many times have you used that stove? How many times have you used that stove? Because to me, it looks completely clean and not like, oh, the clean is just clean, but like never used. Do you have any idea how much I would love that? Look what I cook on. You could paint some cardboard box black put some gold leaf touches all around it, and they'd be like, this is the original model of the Le Avenue en Rouge, en Rouge, Le Avenue, bonjour. I use it all the time when we have guests over, which is very frequently. <laughs> Black and white. You see a lot of that in the house too. Oh, oh is there? I didn't notice. This is what we call our dining pavilion. I can't get over the ceiling. I imagine RuPaul lures people in, sits them down at the table, and then he says, look up, and then everyone looks up. And whilst they're all staring at this trippy ceiling, RuPaul activates a mechanism which makes all of their seats spin, and they're all like this. And then they all fall into this hypnotic state that they can't get out of. <laughs> Welcome to my office. It reminds me of an office that Joan Collins would enjoy. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I'm fine. That's not scary. That isn't scary. Next up is Gwyneth Paltrow. We know her for terrorizing ski slopes. High tech computer animation of what Gwyneth Paltrow says happened on the ski slope. And being an Ironman. <laughs> Hi, Ed. Welcome to our home. So this is the entryway here. We built this. What is going on? Is it like a legal requirement where you need like 30% black and white in your house to reflect UV rays to defend from the climate? Crisis. That's not funny, is it? I think having spent so much time as an expat in Europe and really falling in love with Georgian proportions and those kind of details, I, I really wanted the entryway to feel like its own special room. But then again, this whole area, if not a bit subliminal, is quite nice. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll take it. <laughs> you know, if anyone's giving this up for free, I'll take it. And this chandelier, which I can't decide if it looks like a grasshopper. Or... Ah yes, a grasshopper. This is the kitchen. I love it so much the heart of the home this is portuguese tile it's reclaimed tile this is our reclaimed tile we uh saved it from this syrian village and uh, absolutely beautiful when the light hits it just right it makes this beautiful color that can't be recreated anywhere else and i think it's just absolutely wonderful really nice someone told me that your ancestors actually raided the village and stole the tiles is that true? No, 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 of course not. Where'd you get that idea? Turn the, turn the camera off. Can you turn we also put the fireplace in. You know, it does take me back to my days living in the UK. I had two wood burning fireplaces in the kitchen and it was just such an important element of like beating those cold, dark winters. I would like to point out that in the UK, we have these little things called radiators. They radiate heat. I'm trying to say that in the winter time, you don't see massive clumps of smoke rise above the city like the 20th century. We use radiators. Also, when she lived in London, this was a house and you know, I mean, look at it. I mean, come on, I mean, it's huge. And then Stephen, the architect, he insisted on us realizing his rolling ladder, which I love. I understand the utility of a ladder in a kitchen, you know, massive sports direct mug at the top of the shelf that no one wants to use, but you want to use it for some reason, just climb up and get it, easy. I don't know what it is with these homes, 
but there's always just a huge plant in the middle of a room. Like in a normal home, you just have a little house plant in the corner, like me, 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 me. But in these homes, you have like a Boom. big, huge Boom. plant. Ooh. Imagine this, there's a big pot of boiling cooking oil. You brush past the plant, which causes the cooking oil to plummet down onto little Timmy, who then turns into deep fried little Timmy and he's like, ah! So this is the living room. This bar is, I, again, I found this, <laughs> I found the inspiration on the internet. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's almost two decades of my dad filling my head with every health and safety concern he can think of. But when I see that, I see death, danger, and destruction. I'd hate to think what would happen if little Timmy went anywhere near it. Ooh. Oh, I think I just damaged my pituitary gland. This couch, I don't remember where I first saw this couch. Oh my god! If you looked at that table wrong, you'd need 12 weeks of intensive recovery. Look at that! Yeah. Oh, let me pour some coffee. Oh! The whole arm is dripping with blood. Oh, and that, why is, what is that? Why is everything so sharp looking? What, what even are you? Why is that art on the wall the way it is? And what even is going on? Wait, what? The whole thing looks like completely AI generated. Hello AI, create an image of a completely normal looking house. And then that's what you'd get. <laughs> and we actually use this all the time. Even though we just kind of moved in, we were in this room a lot, and it's it's like a really nice place to sit and be together. I love it when famous people on the TV talk about rooms that we'd consider everyday rooms and explain it like it's a foreign concept. This is the living room. We come in here and we sit down and chat and talk about things, relax, and just, you know, be real with each other. <laughs> because when someone comes around to my house and I'm showing them my rooms, I don't go. Come on in. This is where we sit and uh, talk. Uh, feel free to take a seat. <laughs> okay, this is kind of the most incredible thing of the house. It's a bit of a spa. And finally, this is why I wanted to show a house. Look at this room. Look at it. Look at it. It's insane. And it's very calming in here as well. No, no, no. Calming is not on the list of what I'm thinking when I see this. <laughs> Imagine this, you want a shower in the morning. You walk into this room that you can barely see the end of. And you know when you have bare feet and they make a little splish splash noise on the floor. And you're in there doing an entire perimeter check of the room to make sure an entire family isn't just hiding in one of the many corners. Everyone in her family could be showering in there at the same time and none of them would even know. What would be the few things that are just so special and that, you know, you could use when you're much older? And me personally, I could not understand showering in a space that's any bigger than one meter by one meter. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. I cannot comprehend that. I'd just be showering, looking around the whole time. But also, if I had this in a holiday home, not gonna lie, it would be quite fun. And I'd definitely run around in it just because I can. Because it's not every day where you can run around in your bathroom. This is my bathroom. Um, bath and shower here. Toilet, if you're feeling really hygienic. And you can wash your hands around here. And yeah, that's my bathroom. Also, you got some reclaimed tiles right here. Where did we claim them from? The shop. Robert and Stephen found these amazing tiles, they're handmade, and I love all the details that they had done. Yeah, but also I can just imagine slipping and falling and hitting your head. Oh. Okay, well, that was Gwyneth Paltrow's house, and it was quite nice and tasteful for the most part. Uh, you know, in my opinion, <laughs> whatever that means, you know. Oh, actually, Aaron Paul's house. Let's just let's just look at that quickly. Hey, A.D. Oh, that's nice. Broke ground a little over three years ago and just... Oh, look at that. Two black bears that live in the neighborhood, so we'll see them every now and then. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> I can't even see it, and I already know it's nice. Okay, so those were some homes. That was me watching people talk about their homes. Thank you for watching. Well, AD, thank you so much for stopping by. It was a real pleasure to have you. And I have to go make some meatballs. This is my dining pavilion. You know what? I don't want to talk about it.